In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reverse a servo, essentially making it spin in the opposite direction it would normally spin in. And uh, I guess this could be used for, like, say you're building some sort of a custom crawler or plane, and you want to hook two servos up to one receiver port, and you want them to spin in opposite directions. Uh, you could, that, I, that might be one use for this. Uh, the reason I'm doing it is because I got a, a computer programmable transmitter, and I'm not, not able to program it because the software doesn't really work correctly. So I'm stuck with a plane that pitches left when I steer right, that kind of thing. So that's the reason I'm doing it. What you're going to need is a soldering iron, right? I'm using my trusty TC950 here, otherwise known as the Hakko 936. But a little 40 watt iron from Radio Shack for like $10 should do the trick. Need a little bit of uh, Rosen Core 6040 solder just to tin the tip of your iron during the soldering process, right? Get as thin of a uh, uh, gauge as you can. And then you'll need some sort of a clamp to hold various components from your servo while you're soldering them. I'm just using a wrench and some toolbox foam. It actually works quite nicely. And the last thing I'll need, of course, is some sort of tool to uh, pop the back of your servo off with. Or a lot of servos have little screws in them, so just unscrew that and uh, you'll be ready. Let's just take a quick look at what we have inside this servo. You'll see we have a circuit board, which is basically the brains of the servo. We have a motor. Don't really have to explain much about that. That's what powers the servo. If I just pop this little piece of plastic up here, down in there, we have what's called the servo pot. And what that does is it basically uh, tells, us, tells the uh, computer chip and the motor where the servo is in any given point in time, and uh, essentially tells the motor when to start and stop spinning and in what direction. So, in order to reverse the servo, you need to sw swap the motor wires out with one another and also swap the two outer wires on the servo pot. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Now I'll just show you how to do it. These are the two motor wires that uh, go onto the circuit board. I'm just going to desolder those. There's one, and there's the other one. Now you just have to uh, solder them back on so that they're sort of reversed with one another. So the red one over here and the blue one over there. That's about it for the motor wires. Now it's time to swap the wires on the servo pot. Now this can be kind of tricky because you can't remove your servo pot because a lot of them are glued in place, so you just have to try and solder them in place here, which can be uh, pretty hard sometimes. And then just like we did with the motor, we're just going to solder them back on so that they're sort of uh, in the reverse of what they were before. So this one used to be on the right hand side, I'm just going to solder it on to the left terminal. There we go. Couldn't really see that last one there, but you get the idea. What I've got set up here, just to test this out and show you that it did indeed work, I've got a receiver pack here, some AA batteries in it, hooked up in parallel to two identical receivers that are working with this transmitter. And if I just zoom in on our servos here, the one on the left is the one we just modified, and the one on the right is just an HXT500, exact same as this one, fresh out of the package. And as you can see, they spin in total opposite directions, which means that we successfully reversed this servo, this one right here. And you can see that you don't lose any performance whatsoever, right? With the exact same power and everything, right? Just, yeah, just works perfectly. And again, all you have to do is swap your motor wires and swap the two wires on the outside of the servo pod. Uh, anyways, hopefully you'll be able to find some use for this down the road. Uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.